Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So guys, we are working on the Ford Cougar today. Um, I'm gonna go off this morning, I'm gonna grab that tailgate, come back, um, we're gonna see what it's like, see if it's any good in color. You never know when you're buying second-hand parts, whether or not they're gonna be any good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks okay. Um, and yeah, we're just going to sort of carry on with this car. There's quite a lot to do on it. So let's, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'll explain what's going on. Let's do this. Okay, right. So I think the first thing I need to do is go off and get this tailgate. So we can swap that over <clears throat> and get that get that sorted. Um, we have got to pull down all the, um, uh, the roof liner still. That's all got to come down so we can get to the electrics, the plugs and all that sort of stuff. Um, Quite a few bits and pieces can be taken off this actual tailgate. Um, even the bulbs. Anything that I can sort of strip it off, get it off. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to use. Um, <clears throat> but um, I've taken off the fuel flap. That's going to be sent away to get some paint. Um, paint match to colour in the shade. It is just paint for black, but I always send those cap, uh, fuel flaps off so that they can absolutely spot on match the colour shade. Um, for this corner, this here, and he's probably, I'm going to ask him to go around and do, do the bumper as well. Um, I want to see if we can get underneath there, heat that up and just sort of pull that back out. Can't see why not. Um, so yeah, and once we've done obviously the back end, um, and obviously, you know, I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning, uh, tidying up, um, stuff like that. Um, we can put a few trims back on this side, but we can't put this side because obviously the body shop and the, the painter wants to sort of get into that corner there. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure if it goes, oh, it does go overlap it a little bit. So I'm just sort of just w looking at the shape of that there. It does come, come down. Oh, it's not that much actually. Just a little bit here needs to come up. That inside looks okay. It just wants a little bit of straightening up to do. And then a little bit of a pull here. I have actually got... <coughs> I have actually got that um, um, PD, PDF or PDR thing that you stick onto it and try and pull it up. I might try it, but that's going to be quite a, a, a hard um, part of the car to try and pull. But it's worth a go, I suppose. Might have a go later. Um... And then once we've done the back end, all the bits and pieces that I want to do on that end, um, we're going to turn our attention to the engine side of it um, and start the the stripping down um, <clears throat> and the you know the timing belt, the water pump, the service, all those bits and pieces on the engine. So yeah, um, bear with me. Let me go off and get this tailgate. When I come back, we'll get straight on, crack straight on, get that um, roof liner down and then continue with this one. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit guys.
Right, well guys, that is the old tailgate completely removed. Um, pulled all the wiring looms through. This is the washer jet pipe here. Um, there isn't actually a connector for this washer pipe. I, I've looked right down here, it just does not seem to be one. Um, so what I've got is I've got some little connections, little box of connectors um, from Halfords. And these are water um, water pipes. Um, one like that will fit perfectly, or one like that will be all right. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll just sort of connect them up. That the actual washer jet for the um, tailgate. So that's that. Um, <clears throat> the actual wiring loom it run down this way, come down here, plugged into this here, um, and add an earth strap to that bolt there. Also. There was that cable, that pot, this 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 wire um, was connected to one of the wires on the loom. So, which is, you can see it here. It was connected to that. So that's obviously the sensors because the rear parking sensors, they work on this car. I don't know how they work because at this age and this car, they've always never worked for me, but for some reason, it works okay. So I've got to reconnect that. Um, and I, I actually think the one that I've got had the same thing because if I show you just this here. So you can see that that there, that there is one side. And the other side is that there. So someone's, the breakers obviously have just cut that wire. Um, so, but at least I know which wire it is. So that's the one we need to sort out. But that could be done, you know, a late, a date or whatever. Let's just get the tailgate on, which is over there. Got that from the breakers. It's really heavy, really, really heavy. So I'm going to need help doing this. I have put cardboard on the top of the roof like this. So that when the t the old one come down, it come down on top of the cardboard and not on top of the roof itself. So I'll keep those there. We'll put the new one on the cardboard, put the bolts in, um, and then start, yeah, start re reconnecting everything up. Um, I've got to swap a couple of bits and pieces over first. Um, the struts, these struts here, got to swap those over, the swinging ones, put those on there so i'll swap over a few bits and pieces and then we'll fit the new tailgate um and reassemble whatever we can i have wiped around before you know we're going to put this on i just cleaned all around the edges just to help give it a bit of um yeah just make it a little bit more cleaner but, but i'm gonna have to get help from this one guys and i don't think they're gonna want to be filmed so the next time i come back it will be probably me you know the tailgate on um, and me just messing around, putting things back together, uh, and we'll do we'll do stuff like that. So, bear with me, and I'll see you in a bit.
Right, guys, I bet that was a bit weird. Um, so this is not a cougar. Um, believe it or not, this is still the same day. Um, <clears throat> I had a um, customer come in and turn around and say, um, can I do some brake pads for him because he's booked an MOT this afternoon and it will not pass with the brake pads as they were, which were these ones here. They were so low. <clears throat> Might have been an advisory, but he's like, "Can you, can you, would you be able to switch them in for me?" Um, so I said, "Yeah, all right, no worries." So I got the Cougar outside, bought um, his Sportage, uh, Kia Sportage, <laughs> in, um, and I'm just swapping over the pads now. They just turned up new ones, so I'm going to put those in. Do the other side. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> also, window wipers. So I've got a set of window wipers to go on as well. Um, and then, yeah, he, uh, yeah, that's all he wants. That's all he, that's all he needs doing. So he's already checked it himself and gone all over it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I was doing. But that's a bit strange to me. One minute we're working on the Cougar, the next minute we're working on this car. And I didn't really explain before. But, yeah, let me set you back up. Let's get these pads done for him. Get this car um, done. So let's do this. So guys, we are done, I think, with this one. Um, that's all he wanted me to do, was the rear pads and change over these, um, yeah, these window wipers, you can see they're proper <laughs> gone. Um, and he's got nice new bladed ones on there now, so that's good. So there we go. Right, let me get this um, outside, bring in the Cougar. And then we'll crack on and continue with that one. So, yeah, just a quick, just a quick bread and butter job um, to get done. And then um, it's out of the way. So, yeah, I'll take it outside, guys. Wait for the customer to pick it up. But um, we'll crack on with the Cougar whilst I wait for him. So, yeah, let's do this.
Well, well, guys, there we go, look. It is starting to actually come out and go back into shape. You can just see the little swirl here and the little swirl here. So that does need a little bit more work. Um, I did try to sort of stick some, um, <clears throat> some pads over the top like that and try to pull it, but it just wasn't happening. What I had to do is get the heat gun um, underneath, heat you up from underneath a little bit and then start pushing it and the plastics goes back to shape, goes back to normal, how it should be. So <clears throat> it's not perfect. I wanna still do a little bit more on the back here and the back there to get it out a little bit more. I think I can still do a little bit on that, you know, make that a little bit better, but much, much better. Um, that that um, that dent now is, um, is starting to come out. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> I've started to put all the trims back that I can um, on this side. That's, you know, I can put all that back. It's no issue about that. I want to leave this area here if I can, just as it is, because um, it gives him access for the body shop. It gives him access to get to this corner. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not, it's not that bad, actually. It's got, we've got a little bit down here and a little bit here. By the time he pushes that back out, I'm, I'm sure he'll be able to push it out or pull it up, whatever he's got to do. And then we're going to paint the rear quarter and the bumper going round. Um, yeah, struggled, I've got to be honest, struggled with this tailgate. Um, these lights going in, they're not just put a light in and then put a screw in <laughs> and screw it up. They are so complicated. It is unbelievable. And, I, and I've been, I was struggling for a while to try and get these back in. Um, basically, you can see that bracket here. There's a, there's a plastic bracket here. It goes like that. <clears throat> and that, those two end brackets, these pieces here, they go behind the metal piece. And then once you close it up, you do that up, it holds it in place and makes it solid. But to try and flick that under and flick these tabs that are on the end underneath the side of the, the tailgate is unbelievably difficult and I'm struggling. Um, so I kind of um, left it, <laughs> just come away from it. I thought, you know what, just put them over there and then I'll come back to, I'll come back to you when... Um, <laughs> the next day or whatever, but you, you can stay. You two can stay over there for now because, yeah, I've had enough of you two. <laughs> That's driving me mad. But it's, it's sometimes it's best to just to sort of come back to something. If you can't do it and you're struggling, come back to it another day or a couple of hours later. Have a break, um, and nine times out of ten, it just goes click, and then it all goes you know how it should go. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd jump off that, start doing a little bit of this, working that at that, putting the trims back together, done the, um, done the, uh, roof liner, put the handles on both sides. So yeah, done all that, those kind of bits and pieces. What I really want to do is I'm going to put this light in before I finish today, put that light back in place, just temporary, uh, because I need to get this car outside and it's raining really badly. And I mean, I don't know if you can hear it on the roof. But I want to get it outside, and I don't want this open to the the elements. Uh, I don't want no water getting in, so need to put that light back in for temporary, really. But yeah, um, that is where we are. Um, I'm going to leave it there. That's the end of today's video. Guys, in tomorrow's video, I am going to start a new project. So we'll get cracking straight away in the morning. I'll show you what we've got. And it's something that I've never done before. It's a car that I've never done before. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting for you. It's going to be something different for me. Um, and, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to show you exactly what's happened. Um, with that one as well, it, I think, and you can have your own opinion, but I think um, a motorcycle has gone into the front and it's crash helmet against the windscreen um i'll show you tomorrow let me know what you think but i think that's exactly what's happened and we'll have a look at it and just to see um what you think um 
So yeah, that's tomorrow's guys. But for today, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.